Perfect. 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 If you like the videos I'm doing, subscribe to my channel and hit that bell notification so you know what videos I'm putting up. And also put a comment in the comment section and tell me what type of video you like because you subscribe so I can do more for you. Yo, what's going on, everybody? What's going on? You know who this is. Big country. And you see what I'm doing today. And I want y'all to most of all like and subscribe. And give me that thumbs up. Tell your friends about it. What this episode is going to be about is... I went and look at... The X Men Dark Phoenix movie, and I'm about to do a review on this movie. And tell you how sucks this movie really is. Be right back. Now, everybody pretty much know that the X Men. Doc Phoenix came out this past Friday and I went and checked the movie because back when I was young and I used to collect put this up on my friend turn the TV down back when I used to collect comic books the X-Man was my favorite comic book it was X-Man Spider-Man or shit with somebody else, but but X Man was my favorite, and I always always said, if God had to vent people in real life with powers, I would love to be a mutant. Mutant, but X Man was always my favorite comic book characters. I, I mean, my Wolverine. You know, I was a Wolverine fan and stuff, and. I want to see this movie because you remember some time back, some couple of years back that they made a, a Phoenix movie before and it was good it was okay I, I didn't agree with the ending because Wolverine didn't kill the Phoenix y'all know what the comic books was but I want to see how they did this movie because now am I'm right or wrong about this please let me know this I don't keep up with that MCU, Sony, Disney, Fox. I don't keep up with that stuff. All I know a lot of people say about the MCU that they messing up the superhero franchise of movies. And if that the case, they really screwed this movie up. They really did screw this movie. Now you remember years ago I, And I'm sorry I don't know her name And I'm sorry it's dark in here I gotta cut my lights on <coughs> Cut my light on so y'all can see me better But y'all remember Here when this woman Played Jane Jane Grey, Jean Grey. And I thought she really did a good job she was a beautiful woman. She had a nice body. And she played. She was a pretty good actress. And she played good. And you remember on that Phoenix. When she basically to the Phoenix. That this was the the, the, the the part where she turned to the Phoenix right here. And I thought it was real good. Even though I did not agree with the the way they in the movie. Because everybody knew in the comic books. Wolverine did not kill her. The Phoenix. Okay. But I thought it was pretty it was pretty good. Then they went with this character. They tried to it was X-Men Future Past. They tried to come with new X-Men, yearly younger X-Men, and they come with this character. And that word cancer, that's mean they need to cancel this movie. They need to take this movie out the theaters and trash it. The movie was not 
good. There was no good action in the movie. There was a lot of talk. That's all it was. And when they did had action, it was no good action. It was no good action. So the MCU, Fox should be Fox should be stopped making movies. Disney, Disney should be making no movies. I don't know how all this click, but when they put this movie out and they review this movie, everybody who did not say anything said this movie sucks. They should get fired. They should be out of the movie business because this movie was really bad. It was really, really, really bad. Now you see this right here. This this mystique. I'm not gonna give. I'm not gonna give y'all no spoilers because one some of y'all didn't see the movie, but she was never an X Men. Probably later on in the year she turned out to be an X Man, but she n did not come out to be an X Man. She did not turn to be the the half sister or step sister sister of Professor X. Monique. I say Monique, Mystique, always, majority of comic books of the X-Men was a bad guy, a bad woman. She always was bad. She always was, was trying to kill the X-Men. The original X-Men, that was, that was Mystique. She was with the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants. They were trying to kill the X-Men. Take over the world. She was never part of the X Men, and that's what kind of kicks me off. That this MCU or whatever the hell they is trying to rewrite history of comic books. Now this guy right here, I don't know know his name. I don't care to know his name. He's a younger version of Professor X. Come on, man. Everybody know. By the time he got Wolverine and Storm and all of them, he was a 60-year-old man. You know, and you put this guy to be an X-Man, and then this guy right here was Beast. It wasn't a good character. You couldn't get the guy from Cheers to be, oh, he's probably old now, to be Beast. The only person who really was, did a real good job in it was my needle. The acting been bad. I, and when I say the acting, been I'm not a professional actor, but I can tell with the acting been bad. Where's my man right there? Where's my man playing Wolverine? Now I heard Hack, um, what his name is Gene Hackman or someone his name don't want to play Wolverine no more. That's the rumors. But they could have really need that cat in the movie. They could have really need him in the movie. You know, everybody knew the comic books version when the Phoenix was there. It was Wolverine was the main character. Wolverine is the most main famous character of the X-Men. And you made basically two movies without Wolverine in it. Then you make the Phoenix thing, the Dark Phoenix, and not even a cameo of Wolverine. And this woman here, this is Mystique. I'm not going to even tell you nothing, but what they did to her, I was like, wait a minute. What does this what is this here? How you did what you did? <laughs> Even though this is a messed up mystique, you could have got, I mean, you put anybody, anybody in to play a character. You, you, and she. She probably a nice person. She probably a good actress, but she did not fill the role as Mystique. She didn't did it in Future Past, and show didn't done it here. 
and what they done in the movie to her character it was like really what really it was stupid man it was stupid you had this woman here to play Jane Jane Grey, Jean Grey, and the Phoenix stuff. Okay, some of the we call it uh the special effects was good. That's all I'ma say about it. The special effects was good. This woman here, you couldn't get her back. I know she's older, but man, she would have set that Phoenix she would have really set that Phoenix. And let me ask you a question. The way they done the movie to her to become Phoenix. And she turned and she got part of her Phoenix power when she killed Cyclops. I mean not Cyclops. Um Apopicus. Huh? You remember at the end when P Professor say, Gene, you can do it, and Gene released all his power and Defeat Apopicus. See, you make movies, don't counteract to the movies that you don't make. You know, it see, like I said, the special effect was good on this. It was good. But the person who played it, it was bad. It was bad. You had this woman here playing. Now you know Halle Berry had played Storm, okay? So you had this girl here play the younger versus a Storm. She didn't play it good. Storm ain't never had this hairstyle until she got older. She always had long blonde hair. And look at this, blonde hair with black streaks in it. So her hair was always white. And then her African accent was so bad. Oh my God. They made her have an African accent. Everybody knew in the comment, Storm is from Africa. But they made this girl accent. She tried to come with an African accent and it was horrible. You know, I can fly up in the sky and I can, it was bad. This dude Quicksilver, you know, I don't think he ever said his name Quicksilver. He was never part of the X-Men during that time. Never part of the X-Men during the time. And this Cyclops, the guy who plays Cyclops, oh my God, you know, ugh. His acting been bad, just as bad. It was basically a show around bad actors this movie was so this movie is so bad and some of y'all might like it but this movie was so bad i think it beat the fantastic four when the idiots made these good people here the fantastic four i think it was just that bad and then let me put this right here Nightcrawler. This 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 is this is Nightcrawler. The skinny little kid or kid, skinny old person play Nightcrawler. And, 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 and this the only person this guy right here they're the only person that really act good in the movie. The only one. And see, this is this is a part where the Phoenix, Jane Jean Grey, the Phoenix trying to destroy the helicopter and and Magneto trying to prevent it. Why you ain't had it light up, her light up in her Phoenix stuff, you know? That's what I'm saying. It is it's this was so bad. The movie, the special effects. Some of the, I mean, it was some good. Let me, put, let me put it to you like this. It was some good, but it, the special effects. Look at this. Is, look at this Phoenix. The black eyes. The black eyes and all this right here. Compared to this Phoenix. You never really saw that to about the end, really. 
But this woman could have played the Phoenix way better than this woman, this little girl here, or this woman, whatever the hell. It was it was horrible. But where was my man Wolverine? Wolverine was never well. I'm a big opponent for the X Men. There was my famous there was my favorite comic book characters. But they made me turn against this movie people and I'm telling you they make when I say they make me turn against this movie they made me turn against the x men the movie and what a, what do I give it I give it a two I give it a two a two 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 the movie was bad it's not worth y'all money to go see it do like I did. I got Amazon stick. I put all the movies down. I can see in the theaters. And I saw it that way. Don't waste your money to see this movie. One, some of y'all might like it. Y'all, I do. I look online. Some people like it. But majority hate the movie. The movie sucks. I'm telling you this right here. The movie sucks. The movie's not good. It's bad acting. Gonna, some of the scenes gonna piss you off because if you was a comic book nerd like I was, you gonna say, "Oh, this ain't happened in the comic book. That ain't happened. This ain't happened. Why the, is they changing so much that what happened in the comic book?" And that's what I feel is so wrong about these comic book movies is that. They write in these movies so far away for the comic book version. That's what I really think they're doing. They're making it so much away from the comic book version that it's kind of insulting the people who know the story about the X-Men, the Spider-Man, the Avengers, the Fantastic Four, and so on and so on and so on. That they're really making people mad. If you want to make a good comic book movie, Marvel, DC movie, kind of make it similar like the comic book version. And maybe you might get better. So anybody saw this movie, man, put a comment in the comment section. Tell me what you think about it. Do you agree? Do you agree with my review about it? You know, this help me out. If this will help me out real good if y'all sh- if y'all subscribe and share and also give me a like. If y'all want, I will I will do more reviews on movies I saw. And hey, if it go good, I do it. So peace.